I had what would have been quite a nice grooming session booked in, in preparation for my wedding. And then obviously my, my hairdresser contacted me and said, look, I'm going to be closing. Oh, you know, it's fine because the wedding's off. With no big day to focus on, Tony and his best mate Mark came up with an idea. He just put a simple sort of status on Facebook saying who's up for not grooming for the full duration of lockdown. With inventive posts, engaging personalities and an entry fee of just a pound, Lockdown Challenge was an instant hit. Honestly, my thought process was that'll be a couple of pints in the pub. Something that started from a simple Facebook post developed to reaching 200,000 people, which is just unbelievable. And that online community quickly became a support network. When we've not got a focus or a drive, that's when men can tend to sort of do stupid things and, and sometimes it leads to us getting in trouble with mental health in particular. You know, men can kind of go off the rails. And there are plans for a big post-lockdown party. With the uptake, we thought we were just going to meet in the local sort of pub. We'll probably need to rent out the NEC or something at this rate. But why has only one co-founder stuck to the no grooming rules? If I'd not picked it, I'd still have it now because I'd have been able to groom it, but because it looked so ridiculous, there were literally two holes in my beard there, so um, for a little while I avoided Tony on um, on any Zoom calls or anything because if it clocked it, I don't know what would have happened to me. <laughs> Lockdown Challenge, proof that the simplest ideas often have the biggest impact. Community feel and, and, a, and a safe haven is, is what we've been striving for, and I, and I think we've we finally got it. It's been amazing. It's been a real, quite soft privilege to be a part of it, really.